Here we have Arthur C. Clarke's Against the Fall of Night. This is his first published science fiction novel, um, although some people refer to it as a novella. I'm not exactly sure what its word count is. This is a limited edition published by Centipede Press. It has a beautiful wraparound dust jacket, which is really cool. Um, and it also has uh, their standard cloth bound presentation, really nice stuff. It's got that embossed image on the front. Hopefully you can pick that up. Silk ribbon marker. It's my stone binding, acid free paper. Here's our here's the end papers. And here is a look at the text. It's got a decent amount of artwork in it. Um, what it does have is um, it has some black and whites throughout it, just small little little pieces like that, I believe four or five of them. And then it's got uh, it's got some artwork at the beginning as well. There's a title page. Pretty colorful stuff. To Johnny, dedication. And then it was first published in Starling Story, so um, there we have it. So um, as far as the book itself goes, this is, uh, this is a pretty brilliant work. It's got a huge scope to it, and um, it was rewritten a few years later as uh, The City and the Stars, which Centipede also published as part of this set. So um, what you've got is, I think there were about six years difference between the original publication and then the book in its final form, although it was rewritten and expanded to novel format about three years after this one. This is, I believe, six years later, this is the final form of it. So we'll get to that one uh, soon. But for right now, uh, having only read three, or now two, Arthur C. Clarke novels, I believe, um, Childhood's End, and uh, now Against the Fall of Night. I'm really looking forward to City in the Stars. So. In the meantime, Against the Fall of Night, Arthur C. Clarke, Centipede Press. Recommended stuff.